guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? I have some of that Mopar muscle car madness that you love. It's this vehicle right here. This is a Dodge Challenger, but this isn't your regular Challenger. This is an SRT Super Stock. But before we get into this plum crazy purple, massive flared fender muscle car, let's talk about what's going on here. We all know that the official Hemi V8 powered muscle car is dead. And I know we've already brought you the Daytona Charger, which is gonna be Dodge's first electric muscle car. And of course, the upcoming six pack, which is gonna be that Hurricane powered twin turbo straight six. But let's be real, there's nothing with a straight six that when you compare it to this Hemi supercharged V8, it's gonna bring that muscle car goodness tenfold. Now, it's fascinating. The Challenger came back out in 2008. It had been a hot minute since we saw the Challenger name on a Dodge product. And going back to 1970, what Dodge did was they took a lot of styling cues from the original and brought it into that 2008 model. Now, what's fascinating is there was only one refresh for all the years that they had a Challenger and Charger in the modern muscle car era, that happened in 2015. The reason why I wanna bring up 2015 is because that was the birth of the original Hellcat, 707 horsepower from a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. And even though I may make fun of the different model names that Challenger has and Charger has, and a lot of other people do, I still can appreciate what Dodge has done with this platform because this super stock version has 807 horsepower. Now, what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a killer muscle car, you don't want a Demon, but you still want a killer muscle car, do you go with this super stock or do you go with the bow tie? Of course, we're talking about the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Let's go ahead, let's dive into the super stock. I'm gonna show you what's unique about it, but I also wanna compare it to that longtime rival, the Camaro ZL1. Let's go ahead and check it out. Right off the bat, like I said, I'm not a big purple fan, but Plum Crazy just works on a Challenger and Charger, and that's why my very own Challenger SRT Hellcat with a manual transmission is Plum Crazy Purple, because it really just has that muscle car essence. Now at the front of the business, one of the things that's actually was very hard to find the last couple years of the Challenger and Charger were the optional hood pins. This super stock has them, and this, once again, like I said, ties it back to the muscle car era, but it's also gonna make sure that your hood stays pinned down when you're going down the drag strip. Now, as we drop down, you are gonna get that functional air intake where they hollowed out the inner headlight and they made that cool air come in to that engine compartment. That was something that was originally seen on the 2015 Hellcat. And remember the 2015 Hellcat, what was mind blowing was that it was 707 horsepower, but yet you could drive it in traffic and it had a full warranty. That really to me is the biggest thing about it. Working your way down, love the classic style and the full functionality that new Daytona, Charger Daytona doesn't have full functional vents. And what I do like is that the super stock only comes wide body. So you're gonna get that nice wide fender, massive front splitter area. Steven 8 is PB and J right off the corner, the corner of that splitter. And then coming across the front end, it's such a timeless design. And like I said, say whatever you want about the design not being updated and updated and updated they still were selling like hotcakes. And a lot of people, including this guy right here, are very sad that this Challenger is, is dead. But you'll notice we have the black egg crate grill with the SRT badge. And of course that Hellcat logo there. Working our way down, more flat black on the egg crate grill, full functionality from one side to the other. And remember, when you go wide body, you're getting an extra three inches of width. So parking this next to a Camaro ZL1, you can see just how much wider this car is than the Camaro. Now, as we rise up, you're gonna have the twin 
Ram Air functional intake on the hood, the dual scoops, and you have the double bulge. I remember Hubba Bubba Gum, Bubblicious, you get the double bubble, you get the double bulge when you go with this super stock. So must car, muscle car esque, and it looks fabulous in plum crazy. Now, swinging around wide, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? These wheels come directly off the mighty Dodge Demon. Now, the only difference is, is that they paint them this flat gunmetal metallic gray, but these are the forged aluminum 18 by 11, 18 inches in diameter, 11 inches wide. And look at what we have at all four corners, these Neato drag slick radials, 315s, 315s, all four corners. That's another thing that was unique about the Superstock is that this is how it comes. Now you are gonna get those four piston smaller calipers, because remember at the drag strip, you don't need a ginormous caliper. We're trying to cut some weight. And you're gonna get the Bilstein dampers the shock absorbers right from the Demon that actually fine tune when you're at the Christmas tree getting ready to launch. So what does that mean? It stiffens up the front, softens the rear, so you get that nice weight transfer and you take off like a bat out of hell. But definitely, like I said, having the Demon wheels, the flat black calipers, it just works very, very well. I'm not a big fan of whoever did the white lettering. That is a little too over the top for me. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. Now coming down the side, you'll notice we have our flat, back, flat black red eye, because technically this is a red eye with more horsepower, calling it the super stock. Another option that I wouldn't necessarily go for is the sunroof. Nice that they have it, but the problem is that just adds extra weight and the weight is actually up high. So it's not gonna help you in the performance department. ZL1, no sunroof. So. And remember, what's interesting is that the ZL1 name goes back to 1969 when it, when it referred to a special option of a 427 V8. So it actually, ZL1 existed one year before the Mighty Challenger. Now working our way towards the rear, love that classic muscle car style. I'm gonna have Steven kind of drop back. I'm gonna, I still miss these. I still miss seeing them brand new at the dealership, but it's nice to have this one. You are gonna have, of course, a limited slip diff out back to get power to the ground. Love the way they do the classic style with the fuel filler lid here. You just open that up to fuel up, but I love that classic style. And then coming around back, you do get on the super stock that low drag wing off of the rear spoiler off of the Dodge Demon. So normally the rear spoiler rises up and comes to just the end of the vehicle. This one, you'll notice how much further it extends back off the trunklet of the car. The Dodge name blacked out. Love the way they do the LED lighting. And then working our way down the ground level, you do have just your standard slash cut vacuum style rectangular exhaust. I wish that they would have done something different with each of the models with the exhaust. I think that would have been a nice touch, but you'll notice that there's no SRT badge on the back of this and there's no Hellcat badge. Just the word, the name Dodge. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood of this Super Stock and see its heart. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Now, what's interesting is that the Super Stock actually came out during the pandemic in 2020. In 2020, they only made a little over 100 of them. Each year, 2021, 20, 22, and then this last call edition, the 23 model year, you're looking at around 200 and change. So if you compare that to the Demon, these are actually more rare than the Demon because the Demon and even the Demon 170, they make 3,000 of those for North America, for US, and then 300 for Canada. So a total of 3,300 for North America. Now underneath the hood, we have our open air box with our cone race style air filter. On the super stock, like your other red eyes, you're gonna get a larger air intake tube, larger throttle body, and then a larger supercharger. What are we talking about though when it comes to power? You're looking at 6.2 liters of Hemi supercharged V8 goodness, 807 horsepower, 707 pound-feet of torque. You can only get one transmission, and that is the Torque Flight 8-speed automatic. Quarter mile in 10.5 seconds, 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds, and because of the Nitto drag radials, 
you're speed limited to 168 miles per hour. MPGs, if you really give a damn, 13 in the city, 21 on the highway, and the vehicle, she's not light, she weighs 4,200 pounds. Now what's interesting is that this super stock will actually redline 100 RPM higher than your standard red eye. So this super stock has a higher red line, 100 RPM higher than the red eye. You do have the power chiller from the Demon and like I said, the Bilstein adaptive suspension. One of my favorite looking engines of all time, especially in today's day and age, where there's a bunch of plastic all over the place, Z71, uh, Z71, Z50, why can't I speak? ZL1 Camaro has 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque out of the LT4 supercharged V8, but remember, it weighs a few hundred pounds less than this. So it's one of those things, you really gotta look at the numbers and see exactly what you want, but why don't we go ahead, let's start this thing up and roast those Neato drag radials. <laughs> All right, guys, we are inside this 2023 a last call model of the Superstock, the Challenger SRT Superstock. Now, remember, all 2023s get the last call badge underneath the hood. This is not a last call special edition. Just want to separate those two things, but it's still a very special car. Now, if you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I want a muscle car. I, I've been wanting one ever since I was a kid. I finally got the funds to get one, and now they're all gone? But how much was this brand new? Well, first of all, you could win this one through Dream Giveaway Garage, and I would love for you to win it because I'll be there the day you pick it up. I can make that happen. Now, if you wanna know price, MSRP, the way that this one is optioned is right around $95,000. Let's see how it compares to the mighty Camaro ZL1 to the door panels. This has the premium interior package. So you're going to get smooth, soft touch, leather-like material with the white contrast stitching, Alcantara all over that middle section, more leather style material, more white contrast stitching, no gloss black. We got the track day Twinkie holder on the back part of the door panel. That's for the competition after you blow their doors off. You have a, cu a cup holder, bottle holder for a can of Celsius. And this one does have the Harman Kardon sound system, but I'm telling you right now, you're just gonna to wanna to listen to that supercharger whine and the Hemi V8 notes coming out of the back of the car. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, you do get an SRT badge, but what's interesting, it says super stock nowhere on this vehicle, anywhere. More of that smooth, soft touch material, more of that nice white contrast stitching, that machined aluminum, turned aluminum finish, and then yes, it has the 8.4 inch Uconnect 4 system. I know it's dated, but guess what? You got your wish. They're changing it. The problem is they killed the Hemi V8 off to make it happen. So the Dodge Charger Daytona has all new infotainment system. Love the way you still have your launch control, the power chiller, your performance pages, the drive modes, line lock, shift light, all the shabams. It even tells you what you should be checking at every post-race situation. Now coming down, you got your bright red start stop button, real knobs and buttons for your AC controls and for your uh, radio controls. This is gonna control that torque flight, eight speed automatic transmission. You got a place for some Tic Tacs because you're gonna wanna cool your breath off after you smoke your tires. On the side here, I highly recommend a radar detector in the 12 volt. You do have a nice Twinkie cargo net, two cup holders. Of course, we have the SRT red key fob that unlocks 807 horsepower, all the buttons on the back, 
soft touch material with stitching. And then you have enough room in here, not only for them to put two USB A's and an aux jack, but you got another 12 volt and you could put a pretty good sized jar in here. And what you're going to be able to put in there are my tears, the tears that muscle cars are coming to an end as we know it. And you know, from what I understand, what the research says is that every hour in the United States, another muscle car dies. And that just breaks my freaking heart. What kind of world are we living in? Seats upgraded Napa leather with the SRT logo embossed. More Alcantara, nice soft bolstering. Manual zonk because you have manual adjustments for the passenger in a $95,000 vehicle. I do have on my side power assist. This one does have the optional sunroof. I wouldn't get it. And you do have a rear seat, but who cares? What I want to show you is the business end. So come on over. I want to show you behind the Alcantara steering wheel in this super stock. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings and you do get an aluminum brake pedal and throttle, but I have to zonk this dead pedal. Not only does it look sad, it's just way too small. We do have the SRT embroidery on the floor mats. That's another five horsepower. And we do have just seat controls that are power for the bottom, not for the back, which to me is just stupid. And don't give me the BS about, well, if you're in an accident, it makes it easier to move the seat. I don't see Porsche doing that. I don't see BMW doing that. I don't even see the Chevrolet Corvette doing that. But I guess there's no back seat in a Corvette. Ah, gotcha. Steering wheel though, Alcantara almost all the way around. They put this plastic here and it just feels cheap. So gonna zonk that, but you do have the SRT badge, street and racing technology, illuminates at night. You have metal paddles behind the wheel to go up and down the eight speed automatic. And this is a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then the dash, you have the red gauges and you have a 220 mile per hour speedometer. And then you have the digital gauges in the center that you can scroll through a cornucopia of information, which is really nice, including intercooler coolant temp. So nice to have that set up. I'm not getting in the back seat, never will. I'm not going in the trunk, even though the trunk is larger than the Camaro ZL1. What I wanna find out is, how's the on-throttle experience compared to a ZL1? Let's get to it. All right, guys, we are in this 2023 plum crazy super stock SRT. And right away, yes, there's a lot of familiar touches in the interior and the exterior, which make it look like just your standard wide body Hellcat Challenger. But I'm hoping that I was able to show you all the little different touches that make this very, very unique, especially those Neato drag radials. But you know what? I wanna show you just how easy it is to smoke them because you got them. All you're gonna do is you're gonna activate line lock. It tells you on the dash to how much brake pressure to add. And then you just go on throttle. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. On throttle, yeah, here we go. Woo! Yeah, smoke them if you got them. And that's what this thing is about. Love just the fun aspect of the Challenger and the Charger family. And really, you know, it took me a while to find the right one for me, but it is just really amazing to have that experience of Mopar or no car. Now, one of the things that you're gonna love is you have all the great technology that's gonna allow you to take advantage of getting the utmost performance at the track my advice is make sure that you practice some of these different things so that when you're at the track and you're doing it in front of everybody, you know what you're doing. But really self-explanatory how the Uconnect system has everything just nicely laid out from the chiller to the line lock to your launch control. Looking out over that aircraft carrier style hood is just absolutely amazing because of that double bulge action going on. Plus, yeah, I can see the one of the hood pins and it just, I don't know, it just gives you that real 
deal muscle car experience. Now, if you're comparing this to a ZL1, the ZL1 is gonna be the better handling muscle car by far. It's lighter, but it does have less horsepower. So that's the interesting uh, balance between this and the, uh, and the ZL1. But let's go ahead. I'm just gonna do a regular launch in this super stock are you ready because i'm ready all right here we go smoke them up yeah <laughs> you gotta definitely learn how to pedal with this car because even with all the great technology you still gotta do the work to help get the power to the ground but if you do it right you could go after dom toretto with your 10 second car, because this will run 10.5 seconds in the quarter mile. Now, also what's great is, is you're gonna have all these amenities. I got heated seats, I got ventilated seats, and you have full warranty with 807 horsepower. That to me is the crazy part. Now, when it comes to the overall experience, it just comes down to really what you want. If you want the most knockout, pure, unbiased muscle car, this is the way to go. If you want something that kind of gives you a little bit of extra handling and lightness, then you go ZL1. But why don't we go on throttle? On throttle, here we go. Oh yeah. Pedal it, pedal it. Yeah, got the power to the ground. Woo! Those massive 315s, all four corners, gonna help get the traction to the ground out rear. And what I wanna show you, we're gonna go a little quicker through the twisties because of those 315s. And now that we put some heat in the tires, see how they grip when you're going through the twisty bits, even though this isn't a twisty bit kind of car. All right, well, here we go. Mm, on the brakes. That torque flight does the business so well. Yahoo! Supercharger wine. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Not really meant for the corner carving, but still, with those wide tires, especially Neato drag radials, they're gonna give you a little bit more stick and grip. The thing is, is that you have to remember, uh, this car weighs 4,200 pounds. So it is a lot of weight that's being thrown around if you're gonna rip it through the twisty bits. But if the, if the road is straight and narrow, you're gonna smoke the hell out of Camaro ZL1. You're gonna blow the Camaro's doors off. And it's good news that you have such a large trunk, a larger trunk than the ZL1, so that you could put the doors that you blow off their car, you could go back and pick them up for them and take them back to wherever they, they're going. You can at least do that if you're gonna blow somebody's doors off. But this will get the work done, I promise you that. I promise you that. What's fascinating is, is that this thing purrs like a pussycat. You can sit in traffic, it's not gonna overheat. Um, you could cruise for a long distance drive and you're gonna feel comfortable. But when you go on throttle, Hot throttle! That's where it's at. Yeah! <laughs> I tell you, it's like, this is the kind of car that proves that it's, it's good to be young at heart. Growing up sucks, adulting sucks, but this car makes it all better. This car makes it all better and just allows you to have fun. It allows your soul to be moved not just your body. You want transportation? Listen, there's many a great many great cars out there, but if you want something unique that truly does not exist anymore, brand new, this is your opportunity. And the fact that Dream Giveaway Garage is giving this one away, it's one hell of a spec. I just I wouldn't go I wouldn't go sunroof. Just not for me. But the plum crazy? Obviously, you know, I like that color since I have a Challenger Hellcat and Plum Crazy. But we gotta go on throttle one more time. You and me. Me and you. Got some people 
parked in the middle of the road here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, here we go, drop down and we're off. Woohoo! I tell you, that speedometer, it just freaking just goes boom all the way to that above 100 mile per hour speed in the blink of a freaking eye. In the blink of a freaking eye. And then if you want to manually shift with the paddles, you can. But to be honest with you, this Torque Flight 8 speed automatic is so competent. Oh, throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> it's so competent. And it does the job so well, I say the hell with it. But obviously I could keep driving this all day long and we gotta get back to Dream Giveaway Garage. So without further ado, let's get back to where this all started and wrap it up. I'll see you in a muscle car minute. Hey guys, this is one of those days where I'm just so happy that I started Radies Ride so that I could share my muscle car passion and overall car passion with you. Definitely want to thank everybody at Dream Giveaway Garage, Lori, Ryan, Chris, and the rest of the crew. Remember, if you want a better opportunity to win this, Dream Giveaway Garage wants to help out the Radies Rides family members. If you use the Radies Rides promo code and spend $25 or more on your giveaways, you get double the giveaway chances. And I would love for one of you to win this thing and take me for an on throttle spin. Wouldn't that be exciting? But let me know what you think. Are you going super stock? Are you going ZL1 Camaro? Let me know down in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. I'll come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Got to give it up to Stephen Flood. Stephen Flood photo doing the job to perfection because that's what he's all about, except when it comes to floor mats and other little fine touches. But everything else he does to perf perfection. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.